God is not changed. The word of God is not changed. In fact, Isaiah chapter, was it, chapter 40 says, The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of God endures forever. Forever. How long is that? Forever. Jesus said not one jot or tittle will pass away until what the law of God has to say. And a jot or a tittle in Hebrew is like the dot of an I or the cross of a T. He's saying everything that God's word will says will come to pass. One of my favorite verses is Psalm 119. I think it's verse 19. It says, thy word, O Lord, is settled in heaven. Another translation says, thy word, O Lord, no, it's, it's 89. Thy word, O Lord, is fixed in heaven. In other words, I don't know what that means. Somehow in heaven, it's already settled. Somehow in the multi-dimensional time, space, continuum of God's sovereignty, everything's already settled up there. We're here trying to discover it moment by moment, tragedy after adversity, after joy, weeping, sorrow, pain. God's like, it's all settled. I already know the end from the beginning. Like, I'm God. And this is my word, and my word, my word will never be changed. God's word has been under the attack of governments. God's word has been under the attack of religious authorities. It's been under the scrutiny of scientists. It's been under the observation of the higher criticism of philosophers. It's been taken to be burned by the book burners, and nothing has stopped the word try to burn it nations have tried to ban it it's been mocked it's been twisted <laughs> you know that game bop it kick it punch it you know that game I'm talking, twist it you know what I'm talking about <laughs> like they tried to do everything with the word they tried to twist it ignore it laugh at the people who read it discredit it kill the people that carry it assassin the people that read it and the Word of God 